Osteotomy is a, f a fascinating uh, treatment uh, um, of uh, knee osteoarthritis, actually, but also, uh, generally speaking, of uh, malalignments around the knee. So, uh, what, what do we do in osteotomy? Well, we, sp we, we generally just tend to change alignment. And what is that for? Some patients are affected at um, either the medial or lateral compartment of the knee with osteoarthritis. And over the last decades, it has almost been a dogma that uh, you fix these problems with metal and plastic. So whenever a patient has a partial sometimes or normally full thickness defect of the joint, you tend to open the joint and replace the part which is torn potentially even the whole joint. But it hasn't always been like that. So the times that we know when there were no prosthetics around, meaning some 40 or 50 years ago, the treatment pathway was different. So when you had an osteoarthritis or an sectoral osteoarthritis of the knee, one had to change the alignment in order to get, um, to get the load out of the affected compartment and put it into the non or fewer or less, infect, uh, less affected compartment of the knee. So you can achieve that by performing an osteotomy that changes the alignment and therefore brings the load from one side to another. You can see such an osteotomy here, which is the standard osteotomy, uh, a so-called high tibial osteotomy. And we perform these osteotomies nowadays in a biplanar fashion, meaning there is one cut in the front and a second biplanar cut that changes the overall alignment. So, well, this treatment has proven to be good and is still the only treatment that we have um, which is completely joint preserving. And being joint preserving is our first aim, obviously, because it's always better to keep your own knee uh, and then secondarily, if you don't have any alternatives, then you should shoot for replacements. Because these replacements generally come with more problems uh, than we were uh, initially aware of. There is one sub-cohort of patients which is particularly in danger, and this is the young ones. And young, in terms of a knee prosthesis, means up to 60 years. So. In this sub of patients, if you really subdivide this even further and look at just male patients up till the age of 57, we know that within eight years after implantation of a total knee, 35% of these patients will have to undergo revision surgery. And in most of the cases, this is a change of the implant. Particularly in that subgroup of patients where we have high demands, these procedures tend to fail. So the best answer to that is that you don't go for these procedures in that subgroup of patients, but rather stick to the known alternatives that have proven to be as successful and looking at the long run now seem to be even better.